What's up, everybody? Tony Beats Guy here, and we're back with another WWE 2K18 video, baby. And if this is the first one that goes up on my channel, um, we do have a lot coming, or we do have a lot that already came in the past, but I'm not sure when this is going to be uploaded in the grand scheme of things. But what I wanted to do was I wanted to kind of give you a deep dive on all these topics that I have to talk about with WWE2K18 and the future of WWE games and stuff like that. So if you didn't know, if I didn't talk about this before, um, I was actually invited out to San Francisco to talk to 2K and the studios and WWE games and just kind of talk about uh, what I would like to see in future games and what I would like to see um, coming up and my gripes and good and bad and ugly. And they're giving us some information on WWE 2K18, and that's what I've come back with, and that is the WWE 2K18 information. Now, one of the things that I mentioned when I went out to WWE 2K18 is I said, I want a more arcade type of game. I want something like WWE All-Stars. In fact, I said, give me WWE All-Stars 2. They said, you know what? Some of the people that made WWE All-Stars still work for our studio. And I was like, please! But they said, you know what? They started their slideshow about W2K18, and you know what they popped up with the first thing ever? This is the most realistic version of WWE that you'll ever see. And that's, you know what, that's fine. I like it. I'm, I'm, I'm down with that as long as they keep improving every year. I'll be, I'll be okay with that. I do like my arcade -y stuff, but I'm okay with a realistic sim style game. That's cool. I'm down with that. So let's see where they go from here. So there's a lot of things that they wanted to add to make this game even more realistic than ever ever we're getting the most realistic game that they've ever given us and they say that every year but that's just what they're giving us they're, they're making sure that we know that this is one step closer to the authentic wwe experience that's what they want out of their games so you know what either get on board or you don't and i'm gonna get on board and see where they go so hopefully it's gonna get better and better each year i'm not saying this is the best game that we're gonna get of all time but I will say that it's improved from last year and it just keeps getting better and better and better. Uh, this year, we're getting a new graphics engine, which is very, very, very cool because we're going to get new lighting effects. We're going to get new skin. We're going to get new camera effects. We're going to get real-time reflections and skin shading. That's right, skin shading. We're going to get all this stuff. And what's cool is we actually got a, a sneak peek, right? Um, they showed us Randy Orton's entrance. And what's cool about it is they showed us like a side-by-side -side comparison. Um, they had the audio and um, the crowd, the actual physical crowd, was the same from 2K17, but they did show us Randy Orton's new model. Just with the new model and the lighting, wow, it's like you're looking at a completely different game. Like, it's it's so different, I can't even explain it. Like, the just the way their skin is, just the way their camera effects, their lighting, the real-time reflections, the skin shading, all that stuff. And what they're doing is they're actually taking stuff from the NBA franchise. Um, I talked about this a little bit in my audio thing. I might have not even uploaded this yet, but I'll talk a little bit about audio. Just, just kind of briefly talk about audio in here. I do a deeper dive a little bit later. But I will say um, that we do get stuff from the NBA franchise that makes it a lot better. They learn things. They learn about the lighting, the skin, the camera, and they put that into this game, which is very cool because then it looks more realistic. It looks awesome. Um, and even the crowd looked better. They didn't even give us the updated crowd that they have, but they did have the lighting effect on the crowd and it just made it look even better. They even showed off the new Raw arena with the LED posts. Um, just everything in that looked really, 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 really good. It showed like uh, Roadblock and uh, Raw or whatever and like all that was cool. So it's very, very cool just to see that they're they're taking the step to make it the most realistic ever. Uh, with the realism, they're doing the new commentary team, which has Corey Graves, Saxton, and Michael Cole. And then they're stealing those audio tricks, like I said, from the NBA franchise. Um, and they're recording this all at Performance Center um, every month the entire year round. So that's really, really cool. Um, also with that, we're getting new arenas. And with each arena, we're getting sound profiles for different sized arenas. So like I said, the Raw arena is going to sound different than like the WrestleMania arena or the, or the NXT arena. They're all going to sound a little bit different. Like at the NXT arena, you'll be able to hear like specific one person chant versus like a whole crowd chant at bigger arenas where you can hear like when you're at NXT, you can just hear like one person say one thing. So we're going to get that. But in the big arenas, we'll get the big thing. So um we're also getting a new ring announcer in jojo to make it more realistic um and like i said we got a chance to look at the randy orton entrance and that was captured on a on a thursday which was was that 
two weeks ago maybe from when this is up. So uh, we got to see that. And then we also got to see like a picture of Seth Rollins, um, just side by side comparisons of Seth Rollins uh, from last year to this year, and it looks looks just amazing. Um, they do have physics based shading going on in this, so that's really really cool. Um, and then just to continue on this, this is the biggest roster of all time. Um, just making it e- even even bigger and more realistic and more closer to the WWE uh, experience. The whole WWE experience. They're just trying. That's what they really really want to do. They want to make it ex- like authentic to the WWE experience. They basically what they want to do is they want to get the the most uh, current roster that they could possibly do, the best looking stuff they could possibly do, and. Um, get some legends in there, sprinkle those legends in as well and kind of make it cool. So um, again, let me just kind of reiterate on the realism that they're going for in this game. They're going for like the new graphics engine. Like I can't explain how, how, how nice it looks. If you, if you like nice HD, high quality, that kind of stuff, that's what you want to see in there. Um, we're going to get that with the lighting, the skin, the camera effects, the new, there's like new camera angles and stuff too. They talked about like, more authentic to what you see on television, which is really cool because if you like that WWE television style, you're going to get that in this game, and that's that's really, really cool, like I said. Um, and like I said, you got the skin shading. Um, another big feature is the audio, which is just impressive that they got uh, Michael Cole, Corey Graves, and Saxton in there to do every month. Considering their schedule that these guys work, the fact that they can be in there every month, 12 months out of the year, just makes it awesome. Um, again, they're just they're just taking all these tricks from the NBA franchise. It's really really good. I'm really excited that they're taking some of the goodness that's in the NBA because you see some of those and you're like, if only they could do that or that or this or that or that in this game from NBA and that would be great. And they're they're finally doing that. They're doing all this cool stuff. And um, let me just tell you that I was really excited when I got to see the the Randy Orton entrance. Uh, side-by-side comparison. It was like one of those one, YouTube videos. You know, you see those YouTube videos where people compare from last year to this year. I think I'm gonna have to do that this year because uh, those are gonna be like a huge step up. Like when you thought going to next gen, you're like, okay, this is gonna be a huge step up. But I think finally we're getting a huge step up. And I just want to reiterate this, and I've said this a million times. I'm not gonna say that this is the best WWE game of all time. I want to just disclose that right off the bat because this is not the the very best WWE game of all time. It's it's getting to a point where they're improving on last year's game over and over and over and over again. Eventually, we're going to get the, the most fun experience and the most realistic looking game. That's what I'm hoping for. So that's what we're getting. Like, I just think that we're going to get uh, fine tuning. It's just going to keep getting better and better and better and better and better and better and better. And that's what we're getting here. Um, just like I said, we're getting a bigger roster, trying to get it uh, as close to what's currently on television as we can. But of course, things change, things happen, people come and go, and you can't always have it updated. But um, one of the things that they did say is that they are at capacity on the disc, which is crazy. Um, they're at like that disc space. So they're trying to fill in like the most possible stuff they can cram into this game. That's what they want. And I think that we're going to get something awesome. Uh, hopefully, like we can get like a day one patch or something that's going to give us more features or more updates or something like that. I mean, we did ask about patches and stuff as it goes along, but again, you never know what they're going to give us. You never know. It's it's, it's a crapshoot to see if they're going to give us all the good stuff or they're going to skimp on some of the stuff, but who knows? I mean, I'm excited for this. I'm looking forward to this. I'm excited to see what they have for us. Um, when I finally get to see like a full entrance with the crowd, the chants, the arena, all that stuff, I'm, I'm I'm really stoked to see that and just see how it all plays out. But anyway, guys, I want to take this take this time, excuse me, to thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, thank you for coming to the channel again. Like I said, I have I have tons of videos coming up to the channel. Tons of videos have already dropped on the channel, so make sure you stay tuned because I have uh, all the new updates, everything you want to know about universe mode, my career, uh, creation, everything is included in this. Like again, like I said, I wanted to take a chance to kind of just. Give you an overall experience of what I experienced when I went to the 2K playtest, or not playtest, the Dev Summit, I will call it. We actually got to uh, talk to the developers and kind of just get an overall experience of this is what I want in the game. Please give us something close to that. And they listen. They do listen. I'm, I'm going to say that the one thing that I have to give them credit on is that they are listening to the fans. They know the big thing is they said, they said we know commentary sucks. We want it to be better, so we're improving it, 
and I think you got to give it to them because canceling the Xbox 360 and the PS3 versions, giving us the PS4 and the Xbox One, only make the games a lot better. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments section below. Are you excited about the new updates, the new graphics, the new lighting, the new shading, all that stuff, the new arenas, all the fun stuff. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. And we'll call it a video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. As always, Tony Beats Guy 2.